Hi, I'm Jana Lee, and this furry little sidekick is Gizmo the Chihuahua. And for uh, today's Wacky Wednesday, it's going to be a little bit different. I wanted to uh, address the scandals that are happening right now with Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> And since I'm a f woman in the film industry, I figured we should talk about it on this channel. Um, it, <laughs> um, so I have not personally met Harvey Weinstein, but I have been sexually harassed on um, quite a few casting auditions and actually on set as well. So um, that is actually the main reason why I actually moved back to the Midwest because I was just getting tired of all of what was happening and how women are very much an object in, um, in some people's minds, especially in the film industry. So that's why I wanted to create my own film company called Why White Production. I am and uh, still tired of people being harassed in the industry as if it's the cultural norm. With the story that came out with Harvey Weinstein, I thought that I needed to stand up and voice my opinion of how the film industry does have a lot of sexual harassment in it. And even, um, and if men have been sexually harassed as well by women or a man, you should definitely come forward too because it isn't right for anybody to go through that. A couple weeks ago, I released a sketch comedy video. Well, it was supposed to be a sketch comedy video on what actors deal with and what they go through with it, with the audition process. And after I edited the clips all together, I realized it was definitely not funny. It was very sad because there is sexual harassment and sexual assaults in the industry. So if, uh, if you want to check out the sketch, I'll leave the link in the description below or in the card section. And uh, this um, actually has nothing to do with uh, sexual harassment, but is actually the reason why I haven't been releasing Wacky Wednesdays and Silly Saturdays. But with this whole thing going on with Harvey Weinstein, I really wanted to create a video that showcases the highlights that I've seen surrounding this story and all the sources I put in the description below. Similarities between these stories were uncanny. A lot of use of showers, uh, a lot of exposing himself, and as I said, in three of these cases, allegations of rape. I'm not gonna do anything, I swear my children, please come in on everything. I'm a famous I'm, guy. I'm feeling please, very uncomfortable right please now. Please come in now and one minute and if you want to leave when the guy comes with my jacket. Why yesterday you, you, you touch my breast? Oh, please, I'm sorry. Just come on. I'm used to that. Are you used please. to that? Yes, come in. No, but I'm not used to that. This woman says she is uncomfortable, that she wants to leave. Uh, is upsetting to listen to, obviously. And she says flat out no, repeatedly. She, she says flat out no, repeatedly. He concedes that this conduct took place and describes it as something he is used to. Said no a million times. My heart was racing and I was very scared. If Harvey's stripping, I'm leaving. He started following me and telling me that I could get a three picture deal and that he would green light my script. But I had to watch him masturbate. After turning down Weinstein's alleged sexual advances, her career suffered. Oscar winner Mira Sorvino says she felt similarly after she says she turned him down twice. She said her mindset was, how do I get out of the room as fast as possible without alienating Harvey Weinstein? I mean, for me, that's the extremely telling part of the, the power difference between the two people in that room. These women were very young. It's very difficult to be 21, 22, 23 and, and feel, feel like you have any personal power. I was a kid. I was signed up. I was petrified. Hollywood's biggest stars now say Weinstein sexually harass them too. Allegedly placed his hands on her and suggested they head to the bedroom for massages. The actress says she refused. I certainly don't know where I would be without them. They hired me when nobody else would when I was 19 years old. Hired by Harvey for three movies in the 90s, several years later, Paltrow thanked Weinstein when she won an Oscar in one of his other films. I would like to thank 
Harvey Weinstein. Now she's coming forward, saying this way of treating women ends now. You know who's brave? The intern or the assistant yeah. who's working in that office for less than a year. The actress who's never had a role who comes forward mm -hmm. and who knows their story is going to be squashed by a press who is complicit, who has these book deals, who has these movie options, and therefore they're not going to report on the stories. The Matt Damons of the world who squashed the 2004 New York Times story. Yeah. It's really easy for Gwyneth Paltrow to come forward in 2017 when it's safe to go ahead and tell this when she has benefited from these relationships for decades no, it's I, another I, thing I, the brave I, women I, are the ones whose careers were destroyed who were sent packing back to the midwest these women who are speaking out and are telling their stories it's a heroic and it's the only way that those kinds of abuses of power will end. The women who chose to speak about their experience of harassment by Harvey Weinstein deserve our awe. It is not fun or easy, it's brave. My brother Harvey is obviously a very sick man. I've urged him to seek immediate professional help because he is in dire need of it. His remorse and apologies to the victims of his abuse are hollow, adding he has proven himself to be a world-class liar and now rather than seeking help he is looking to blame others. I pray he gets the help that he needs. So there's that feeling that I'm sure so many women feel of shame, of perhaps I did something to give him the wrong impression. Maybe I was flirty or maybe I gave him the wrong impression and that's why this happened. Presenting all the sensuality and all the sexuality, it's not Harvey Weinstein. You look at everything all over the world today, you know, and how women are dressing and, you know, what they're asking by just presenting themselves the way they do. What are they asking for? Trouble. Let's be perfectly clear right now. Women sometimes make bad fashion choices, including at the office. This does not invite their own harassment, period. It's totally unacceptable. Yeah, yeah. And we had to stop it. And I, and I do feel like we're in that time now where another guy is going to think twice before he does that. Tragic that this story didn't come out sooner because, of course, who knows how many women have been traumatized and attacked. Please learn about what happens inside the mind of a victim. Mm -hmm. Please understand that. Yeah. Like, how, you cannot judge that person in any way. You do not have the right to touch someone if they don't want to be touched. If you are with someone and you discover that they do not feel safe, back off. Former President Obama, who has received political donations from Weinstein and whose daughter once interned for the Weinstein Company, said any man who demeans and degrades women in such fashion needs to be condemned and held accountable, regardless of wealth or status. And in fact, immediately condemned Trump after his comments on women. I can't say, hey, you know, our, our president can't do this. I, just, I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. And then not say, Harvey can't do it, you know? I don't want to live in a world where that stuff is, is, is acceptable. Congratulations, you five ladies no longer have to pretend to be attracted to Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> I was deeply disturbed to hear the news about Harvey Weinstein's behavior. I worked with Harvey five years ago and I did not experience any form of harassment personally, nor did I know about any of these allegations. This kind of abuse is inexcusable and absolutely upsetting. My heart goes out to all of the women affected by these gross actions and I want to thank them for their bravery to come forward. This is a much different tune than the one Jen sang just a few years ago while presenting at the GLAAD Media Awards. Congratulating Harvey who had just welcomed a newborn son. Jen said, quote, Harvey gave us just what we needed, another him. If he's anything like his dad, he's going to be relentless, passionate, and just about the best mentor an aspiring actor could ever hope for. George Clooney, who called Harvey's behavior, quote, indefensible, also told the Daily Beast, I've known Harvey for 20 years. He gave me my first big break as an actor in films on From Dusk Till Dawn. He gave me my first big break as a director with Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. We've had dinners, we've been on location together, we've had arguments, but I can tell you that I've never seen any of this behavior ever. Just rubs me the wrong way that they will take care to say they haven't seen it. Mm -hmm. When do people 
rape and sexually assault victims in front of other people, of course you haven't seen this behavior. Of course Harvey Weinstein didn't ask a young woman to watch him take a shower naked in front of somebody else. Right. This happens in private. Perpetrators go to great lengths to cover up their crimes. It's like when you're, if you were talking about a murderer in a court of law, well, I never saw him murder, you know, this is horrible, but I never saw him murder anyone. That is a good Of course point. you didn't. I can't find the comment now, but she's bringing up saying they should take away all of his awards. Now, some people might say, oh, you know, I mean, if we start doing... Mm. So, they've take, they took away O.J. Simpson's Heisman Trophy. You know? I don't think I knew that. Did yeah. they did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They took away Reggie Bush's Heisman Trophy for football fans. You know, if you can take away a sports trophy because of some misdeed that an athlete did, then, yeah. Why don't they take away his Oscars? <laughs> so, instead of... Like, I don't think it's that crazy. It's like... What do you think will happen to Harvey Weinstein? Leave your comments below and let's get a discussion going. And I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say. Um, it's, it's a hard topic. It's definitely, um, it's real. And I don't know about the Harvey Weinstein allegations, um, but I just mean in the industry, in the film industry, it, it, it is real. There is a lot of sexual harassment and a lot of people get away with it. And uh, our next <laughs> uh, Wacky Wednesday will definitely be back to the feel good uh, videos that we create, unless you liked the real and honest style, um, then I could add in some sincere Sundays. So uh, just leave your comments, questions, and thoughts below. And don't forget to tune in on Wacky Wednesdays for sketch comedy videos and uh, silly Saturdays where Gizmo and I wear matching onesies and answer the Why Wait community's questions on anything. So if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and also click uh, the bell icon next to it to turn on notifications to get notified every time we release a video. And also, I think that we should definitely support victims that do come forward about sexual assault, sexual abuse, or um, just anything related to har sexual harassment because it's actually a very very hard thing to um to come forward with so um until next time stay authentic